Okay, after all three of the T-harness's plugs have been plugged into the vehicle, and the vehicle's plugs plugged into the T-harness, you're ready to activate the system. First, push and hold in the small black push button on the Fortin module. While still holding in the button, plug in just the harness's small black four pin plug. The LEDs on the module will begin flashing. When the LEDs on the module light up just red and blue, release the button. Now you can plug in the remaining three plugs to the module. The module is now activated and ready to be programmed to your vehicle. You're going to need two keys to your vehicle. Designate either one of your keys to be key number one. Using the designated first key, turn the ignition on for either three seconds, three key chimes, or until the dash cluster security light turns off. Then turn the ignition off and remove the first key. Now within five seconds, insert the second key and do the same thing. Turn the ignition on for three seconds or three key chimes, or when the security indicator light on the dash cluster turns off, then turn the ignition off and remove the second key. Now go back to using the first key and within another five seconds, turn the ignition on, but this time watch the LEDs on the module. The LEDs will flash both blue and red at the same time, 10 times, and then change to just flashing blue. When you see the LED flashing just blue, turn the ignition off and the blue LED will turn off and the yellow LED will turn on solid. The system has now successfully programmed to the vehicle. Remove the key and you're now ready to test remote start activation. Testing remote start activation. First, close all the vehicle's doors. Depending on how you pre-ordered the system from us, your remote starter can be activated only one of two ways either by slowly pressing the lock button on your factory remote three times or by pressing the lock unlock lock sequence. Once it remote starts, let it test run for at least 30 seconds. Then you can shut it down the same way you activated it or by stepping on the vehicle's brake pedal. All right, you're all set, button it up, stay warm or cool down and enjoy the luxuries of having a remote starter installed on your vehicle that you did yourself. We thank you for your purchase of one of our remote starter systems, or if you're interested in purchasing one, there's a link below to place your order. And if you have any additional questions or technical issues, you can leave us a message in the comments below or use the contact information provided at the bottom of every page of your installation manual. Thanks again, and enjoy your new remote starter system. Motor City Audubon, your fastest route to remote starter installation.